um, hi. Kenya, are you going to help me do this video? Hmm? Good kitty? Hello! Welcome to the Vintage Girl Next Door. My name is Lacey and today I have a thrift haul for you. <laughs> Yay! Time for another one. It's been a minute since the last one, so there's a lot of things. I tried to like narrow it down to the best of the best <laughs> over the last couple of months that I've thrifted. So hopefully you will enjoy and uh, let's just get right into it. Okay, first we will start with clothing, and first up is this super pretty mint green uh, little sweater. It's very cozy and soft, and it looks really pretty. I've paired it with an awesome collar from my friend at Magnus Clothing on Instagram. You can check her out. I'll link it um, below, but anyway, it looks really cute paired with that, and it's just a really nice, super cozy one for... The winter time kind of casual but when you style it then it ends up looking super cute so i was excited this sweater was three dollars okay next up for shirts is another sweater i got this really pretty uh, mustard colored sweater kind of has like a like a wide neck like a boat neck um and i love the color mustard for fall it is perfect and it can continue through winter as well. So this one was actually, one of the thrift stores in town had a yard sale in the back yard area of the thrift store. So that's where this came from. And it ended up being, I think, 50 cents. So uh, not bad. And it also is a cashmere blend. So there you go. Cashmere for 50 cents, maybe 75 cents, either way. That's a steal. Next up is this a beautiful autumn leaves blouse, and you may have seen it on my Instagram. I love it. It's a really pretty satiny feeling material. Text says Rena Rowan. I don't know. I'm guessing it's like probably 90s or early 2000s blouse, but styled with a, I have this pretty wine colored skirt styled with that. It looks really pretty and vintage. And also, um, I want, I really want to get some pretty wine colored trousers. I have my eye on a pair from Vivian of Holloway. We'll see if it happens maybe for Christmas. Anyway, yeah, so I thought this was super pretty and this one was $5. Okay, now this is kind of strange and not my typical style. However, when you find the most glorious of 80s sweaters, you must purchase the sweater. So all I could think of was like Stranger Things, Nancy from Stranger Things when I saw this, and I thought it was so cool and so awesomely 80s. Like, I know at some point I will need this for something whether it's like a cosplay thing or whether it's like an 80s party, I don't know. But this, ugh, it's just, it's so good. So I had to grab it, it is $5. What I really need now is some nice white, uh, some nice white like slacks to go with it. It'd be prime time or maybe some acid wash, high, like high-waisted acid wash jeans gonna be it's gonna be great next up is another 80s gem however this one I feel like could totally be styled 50s so this is what it looks like um, I feel like without probably if I removed the shoulder pads it would totally give a 50s vibe it's really cute it has pockets so there you go but really what drew me to it was this amazing belt look was that like I feel like it's like Wonder Woman superhero vibes or something like it's it's so cool and I don't know why the belt is like really tiny I can't I don't know so the belt doesn't actually fit I could probably like 
make a little hook on the very end and then that would work so that's probably what I'll end up doing for it. I feel like it can totally give a 50s look if you style it correctly so had to get it. This was also at that yard sale so it was like 75 cents so I thought even if I don't end up loving it like 75 cents and it'll at least get like a little bit of wear and that'll be good. Next up is this a very pretty gold dress. It is from the tag says Down East, like Down East Outfitters, I'm guessing, but I got this at a yard sale. Uh, I paid, I believe I paid a dollar for it because it did have it did have a stain on the back, which came out. So there you go. Perfect. But I thought this would be super pretty styled for Christmas. Like with some maybe some red like accents or even green but I just thought that it was really pretty I like these pleats and so yeah I just figured I would give it a try next up is another beautiful dress that would be pretty for holidays and it is this really pretty like satiny emerald green beauty and this one is actually from unique vintage it says XL for the size but someone has altered this to be smaller, so like um, they've taken it in and I think I'm actually probably going to go back over that and fix it. They didn't do a great job on the alteration, so I mean it's just like really weird and bulky, so uh, I think I will go back over that and do a little bit better of a job taking it in. Um, but either way, I still loved the dress. It was $8. I love these pretty flowy sleeves. It totally is like 1930s. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Just the material itself. I'm like, oh, yes. So hopefully I can make it look a little bit nicer because as it is when it's on, you guys will be able to see it kind of has some like weird bulk um, on the seams where it's just been like sewn over but not like cut and stitched so that it lays flat if that makes sense so yeah super pretty unique vintage i am excited for this one next up is this gorgeous kind of green sage green floral um it it's oh, it's so pretty i know it's not really like the season for this kind of a dress but you, you just can't really go that way when you're thrifting. You just gotta get like what you find when you find it. And so this one is actually new with tags at the thrift store. I paid $6 for it. And I thought that this little gathered detail right here was really pretty. It's really pretty pleated. Grab it now and maybe wear it layered for now. Like with um, like one of these cropped cardigans, I do have a I do have a pink one that I think would look good with it, um, or even this navy probably would as well. So I figured I'd grab it, layer it for now, and then keep it for the spring. Okay, next up is this gorgeous, I believe it's silk, 1950s, probably early 50s I would say. Uh, dress. It has like some slight shoulder pads which look really pretty gives it a lot like a really pretty structure on um, and then I loved the tan and the brown details on the collar and the sleeves and also it has these very handy snaps so that your buttons don't gape. It has them like spaced throughout down the front which is awesome and I thought this would be really cute for winter. Maybe paired, I paired it with a leopard print belt and shoes and I loved it. I kind of want to get like a wider belt. I don't have a wide brown belt, but I thought a wide brown belt would look pretty with this as well. Um, but it's just, it's so pretty. I was so excited to find it thrifting and it was $5. Okay, last up for women's clothing is this amazing green velvet true vintage dress. Look at it, you guys. Oh my gosh. This one's awesome. I was so excited to find it. It has kind of like a 
like a ruching around the bust area that's really pretty. Um, it has a zip down the middle of the back, but it doesn't go all the way up, which is odd and not convenient when you're trying to take it on or off, especially when you're trying to pull velvet against itself. I had a slight panic attack trying to get the stress off. I thought I was going to maybe just live in it forever um, for the rest of my life. But yeah, so I have to have help whenever I'm taking this one on or off because it is a little stressful. But other than that, it fits perfectly. It is true vintage. I think it is um, probably 1950s, I would say, just based on the construction and the zipper and stuff like that. So super pretty true vintage dress for six dollars yes i thought this one would also be really pretty for the holidays um i mean green velvet like yeah if i just do red accessories oh i'm excited i'm excited to wear it so yeah i'll show you guys some of the so you can see by the hem like it has a hem tape it has like a, a hidden hem on the outside. These ones are cut with pinking shears and then a zigzag stitch over it. So, I mean, just those little clues. And then um, also the metal zipper is a big, a big clue um, as far as the, like how to identify that it's a true vintage garment. So yeah, unfortunately there's not a label. I don't think it was handmade though. It seems like it was, seems like it was a, a label, but yeah. And it has these, it has this really pretty seeming detail on the sleeves as well. Like just all these little, little details that make True Vintage so special. Okay, moving on to menswear. Well, it's been a little rough the past few months with menswear. I've not found much. Um, but I will share with you what I have found. So first up is this sweet uh, dagger collar 1970s dress shirt. This one was dead stock, so it was like folded and pinned inside the plastic package still, which is super cool. And it was at the thrift store yard sale, so it was like 75 cents. And so we thought we would grab it. A, has a cool like kind of pinstripey pattern and what I really liked was this collar because I'll cut you. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> okay, last up for the men's. I know, only two things sad. Sad for my husband. Uh, but this one's awesome. So feast your eyes on this glorious western shirt. It's awesome. I think it's late 60s. Um, it was seven dollars as you can see it says H bar C permanent press California ranch wear um, look at the back it's just really really great I didn't know if my husband was gonna like it but when I saw it I was like I can't leave this behind like look at the pockets like that's so cool so I got it for him and he liked it, so bonus. <laughs> I did also end up finding some shoes this month, which is fun. I don't find shoes as often, um, so I was excited and look how pretty they are. Super pretty, m like mint green, um, kind of saddle shoe vibes, but like with the bow and the white, I thought that it was really, really cute and they do happen to be my size so yay I got these at a yard sale they were two dollars moving into the non clothing item category I found first of all a whole bunch of awesome vintage patterns so I will go through them um, these I found at a combination of thrift store and a yard sale. One yard sale had a bunch and I got a bunch there and then thrift store. So I will go through, look at this pretty blouse. 
I love it. I am going to make it. I really like the three quarter sleeve one. I think I'm gonna try that one because that is super pretty. So there is that. Also, look at this amazing suit pattern. I've never made a suit. I don't, I'm slightly intimidated by this one, but we will see because it looks awesome and I at some point must make it. This one I thought was really cool. It's for um, like toddler pajamas, um, but it's like one of those, I think it's one of those mail order ones. It's the quick sew and it's still sealed. Like, look at that. It's not been opened. That's pretty dang cool. It was 75 cents and I have a friend who is going to have a baby and also who has a toddler. So I think I might send it to her because it's just really cool and I don't think I'll get use out of it, but she might, so. Okay, the next three are reproduction 50s patterns from Simplicity. There's this one and this dress. Like a really pretty kind of ball gown type pattern, which I really, really like. And then this one that is for like a kind of a halter top bra top, which will be really pretty for like really cute for the summer. So those three, they were 75 cents each. And then these ones, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them, but I, they were cool and I didn't want to leave them behind, but basically, so here they are and it is an embroidery transfer. So you lay the design, you cut the design out that you want, you lay it on the fabric and pin it on and then you iron it and then the pattern goes on to whatever it is and then you then stitch over it like with embroidery. So I have some vintage like pillowcases and uh, doilies and things like that that have this on it. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I got three different ones. I don't know. Um, honestly, I don't know if they've already been used and I don't know if you can use them more than once. So yeah, there's that. But anyway, I wanted to grab them just because they were pretty cool anyway and 75 cents each. Next up, I got at a yard sale. I believe it was 25 cents or possibly free, but look how cute. <laughs> this little golden book is like it's in rough condition but it says the paper doll wedding it's so cute and so 50s i love it so it unfortunately it has some of the pages ripped out because it had actual paper dolls in it and so obviously the little girl that got this book has used those paper dolls which is what it was for so i can't be too mad it says this little golden book belongs to Mary Beth, but she wrote Mary and then the B-E and then the T-H up, up here. <laughs> oh, Mary Beth, so cute. But look at, the, look at the illustrations, you guys. It is gorgeous. It's so, so pretty. The dresses and oh, it's so cute. I loved it. So anyway, yeah, here's where you can see the that she ripped out the paper dolls, but it's fine. She can play with them. But I wanted to get it anyway, just because of the art inside. I don't know, maybe since it's already kind of damaged, I will take some of the pages out and frame them. I don't know. But anyway, it was cute and I couldn't leave it behind. So there you go. Next up at that same yard sale, I got this little set. It was 25 cents. And originally I thought it was little cards, but I will show you. It is actually little notebooks. So yeah, that was cool. It's, see the little blank um, notepad. I really liked the birds and there are several different ones. So look how pretty. I loved the bird illustrations on these. I thought that it was really pretty. It's brand new, they've never been used, so. Um, I had to grab it. Oh yeah, look how cute. Little bird notebooks. I don't know, I figure maybe I will put them in my purse and use it for like list making or little notes or whatever. So yeah, 
thought these were really cute. Also from that same yard sale, my husband found these. It is some vintage playing cards and it says pinochle cards, Congress playing cards, sell a tone finish. And so see the car you pull it out. Yeah, vintage playing cards and they're really pretty. Next up is this, I think it's a, re I'm pretty sure it's a reproduction because this is plastic, but it's a soap dispenser and it was $1. I feel like this will look really cool on the wall of our downstairs bathroom. We're still um, going to re kind of renovate that one and, and do a little remodel on it. Um, but I thought it would look cool. This is nice and like solid um, metal. So anyway, it was only a dollar and yeah, see, so I thought it would be really neat to use for the bathroom. Okay, so I do not currently have a record player. However, I always find awesome records and I thought I might as well just start collecting them because I would like to get a vintage record, record player at some point. So whenever that day comes, I'll already have some records to play. <laughs> so that's my reasoning. Um, so I got this record, Great Hits of the Fantastic 50s, volume one, and it was only a dollar. And there are two records in here. So that's cool, they're still in their sleeves, so I think they're probably in pretty good shape. And this next one I was real excited about because anything Disney is super cool. And I got this Mary Poppins. And it says, Walt Disney presents the story of Mary Poppins with songs from the motion picture. So awesome. And it's copyright 1964, Walt Disney Productions. The art, I love the art on the front. It's super pretty. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. Who doesn't love Mary? Oh, look at the inside. Look how pretty it is, you guys. It's such pretty artwork. I am so excited. So this was like, I think secured in to the record, but look, it's like a super pretty book. I love it. This artwork is gorgeous. I mean, this could probably be framed too. So cool. Oh, look how pretty. I love it. I love it. It's not telling me who. The artist is, I don't think, but yeah, very cool. And then, of course, here is the record. Disneyland. Yay. I love it. Anything Disney I just love, like automatically, but this is really, really awesome. I was so happy to find it. And this one was also one dollar. Okay, and then one more record. And well, I guess it's kind of more like the story. And hello, Mr. M. You are. You're doing so good. Thank you. Thank you. So I got this Bing Crosby, the small one, a Christmas story, which is it's just perfect timing. I had to get it. This one was two dollars, but there are two records in, so that's good. And on the front right here, copyright 1947. So that's cool. Uh, I have, I mean, obviously I haven't had a chance to listen to it because I don't have a player, but I'm really excited. It says like musical score and then Bing Crosby narrating the story. And it's two discs, so I don't know, maybe there's some songs on there too. I hope, because this is really, really cool. So I'm excited. If anyone sees a real good vintage record player that is not $300 or more, well, let me know. We'll let a girl know. Next up, I thrifted these bangle bracelets. And this one I don't think is anything, like I think it's probably just like a 90s bracelet, but I like the color and the, it's kind of like, I don't know, designed. I don't know if you can see that, but um, I liked that and so I grabbed it. And then this one is the one that I think may be vintage. So I'll let you see up close. It has really cool flowers etched in. And then with the different colors of rhinestones, I thought it was really fun. Like maybe it's 60s-ish. Um, I don't know, but I liked it. 
so I got it and these were two for three dollars and another piece of jewelry I got this really cute seagull brooch he liked his sparkly eye <laughs> I thought it was pretty um, and so yeah I picked him up this little guy was three dollars it was a little bit of a cold month for as far as like Pyrex and kitchenware goes but I did find this beautiful bowl it is Fire King and I have some of the soup bowls that go with this collection, so I wanted to still grab this one anyway. And it was $2. I thought that the peach, like kind of iridescent -y peach, was really pretty. I liked like, the design, the fluted edge. It was really pretty. It does have a small chip, but I mean, we can't all be perfect, right? <laughs> so I grabbed it anyway, and I was, I was happy to find this one. Next up is this awesome pumpkin blow mold i love him it's so cute pumpkin with a witch's hat and then it has a bat and a cat and a bat on the bottom it works we put it out on our porch for halloween and the light inside blinks which is kind of fun so i was super excited my husband actually is the one who found this one and it was three dollars okay moving on to some knickknacks First up is this cute little white kitty with a ball of yarn and I thought that it was really cute. It's kind of like, I don't know, like ceramic, chalkware, I don't know. But I'm real confused about the sticker on the bottom. So the sticker says weather barometer, violet, changeable, blue fair, pink, bad, gray snow. Um, I don't know what that means. I have not seen this kitty change color. <laughs> I don't know, like, it doesn't look like it has any kind of, like, sensor anywhere. So I don't know if that sticker just got put on there. I'll show you the sticker. I'm real confused about it. If anyone knows what's up with this little guy, let me know. But it was only, it was $1.50. So, I don't know. I liked, I just liked the cute kitty. Next up, I found this super cute vintage Santa candle. And I just loved his little rosy cheek face. It's very cute. This It was only 50 cents. And he's like new in the package. So I thought he would be cute to put out for Christmas. Yay, it's almost time to start decorating. Next up, from that yard sale that I got the playing cards and some of the clothes from, I found this sweet little spaghetti bunny with some flowers in a vase. Look how cute that is. He was 25 cents. And look at his little face. He's so happy. I love it. He has the cool like spaghetti textury stuff on him. And I thought it was really cute. I couldn't leave him behind. Yes. And it says yes. And next up is this amazing big kitty. Look at him. I just love it. I love the sparkly eyes. He also has a sparkly collar. He fancy and I like it. It's awesome. It looks like he's had possibly a repair on his leg. You can't hardly tell, but you can kind of tell that it's maybe been glued. But it does have a tag still. It says Victoria Ceramics made in Japan. So he's definitely vintage 1950s and I love him as I do with pretty much anything kitty. Next up for knickknacks is this super fancy poodle. I love her. Look at her hat. It's glorious. Oh, I was so excited. So excited to find a spaghetti poodle at the thrift store. She was $5. I think that she may be the, one of the ones that has the chain with the little babies and they weren't with her, so sad. But because see look, right here on her collar is this little loop. And so I think that it may have had the chain coming off with the two little babies. So real sad that she lost her babies, but I'm real glad that I found her because she's gorgeous. So cute, so pretty, only five bucks. Okay, we have done it, we have reached the end. This last item 
is awesome and that's definitely the most expensive thing I've thrifted this month but I it also might be the very coolest so I will let you be the judge of that and I will show you this awesome red stretched glass base Ugh, look at it it's so cool it reminds me of like fire oh it's so neat so I'll show you the bottom look how pretty oh it's so pretty it's huge I haven't seen a stretched glass this big like see I have these ones and they're tall but this one is like super wide and big anyways it's beautiful I loved it I don't have any red stretch glass as you can see only turquoise and amber so I definitely wanted to add it to my collection this baby was $35, which is a little steep for me, especially at the thrift store, but I mean, well, it's definitely worth it, so I had to get it anyway. I couldn't leave it behind. Well, my friends, that is it for this haul. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that it inspires you to maybe go and do some thrifting and look at your local thrift store, and I will send you all of my good thrifting vibes that you will find treasure because it is the best feeling when you do. So yeah, if you like this haul and you like thrift hauls and want me to continue with them, I would love to do that. Give this video a thumbs up so that I know and if you are not already subscribed, please do so. I would love to have you stick around for more of our vintage fun and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye! What do you think, Mr. M? Did we do a good job? I think you did a good job. Will you give the people some purrs, Mr. M? <laughs> You're a good kitty.